Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkington. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install Skype on a Google Chromebook running Crouton. What Crouton is, is actually installing Linux as a dual booting operating system on your Google Chromebook. So on one side of my Chromebook, I have Chrome OS running. And on the other side of my Chromebook, I have Linux running. Kind of makes things quite nice. And we're going to type in four separate commands in the terminal to get things running. This should take only about 15 minutes, give or take, depending on how fast your internet connection is. So first things first, let's open up that terminal. Once that terminal is opened up, go ahead and type in these commands. Press enter. Once that is finished, you want to go into uh, the terminal again. Now you're going to want to make sure that you know you will have a 64-bit or a 32-bit. I am running the Acer Chromebook so I'll be on the 64-bit so just make sure you choose the right one to install. Press enter again. Next you want to type in the following command line in the same terminal. Again press enter. And finally, we will type in one last thing to install everything. Press enter, and now you're completed. So go ahead and close the terminal. As you can see, I do have Skype already installed and opened. Everything runs smoothly. Now, once it is installed, you wanna go back into your applications menu. If you don't have an application menu in the sense of a navigation bar like I do, this is an XFC panel. That is in one of the first videos that I've created for this tutorial if you do not know what the XFC panel is. You can right click your desktop, go to applications, and then to internet, and you'll see Skype. Now you'll want to make sure that you do have a Skype account, or a Microsoft account, or a Facebook account actually. So either one of those will get you signed into a Skype account. Uh, if you don't have one, you can go to skype.com to sign up for one, or just open up the application and there'll be a little link in the application that'll show you how to do that. I would open up Skype to show you a bit, but I just don't want to show you my contacts list. So kind of got to trust me on that, but it does work and smoothly. If you do have any questions or comments, comment section below. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.